All right, that Ed's. What is this? Ed's Southern Seafood with Soul. Let's see what we can get here. Alright, now that's how you serve a beer. <laughs> refreshing. Let's see. Orange grapefruit mango. I taste the mango. Oh. Mm, yummy. Refreshing. The hangout. Alright, this is the snapper with a cray, a cream cray fish sauce with greens and cheese grits. Oh my god, have you ever had crayfish? That's a crayfish. Yum. So, it came in a variety of ways. I got black and it's right with the sauce. Mm. Ooh, that black and gives it a nice, nice flavor. And those crayfish. Ooh. You should get those in the creek. Alright, cheese grits. Let's see. Mm, they are pretty creamy. You can taste the sour cream in there. the grits. I see pieces of ham in those grits. Mm. They were definitely cooked with ham. You can see them. Mm. Pretty good. But the star definitely is the fish. Thank you. Go have a nice I think those are jalapeno hush puppies. All right, pretty good. Mm. Lots of seasoning. No, I'm good. Are those like jalapeno hush peppers? Yes, pepper? Um, oh. I believe they make it, I think it's a beer batter. Oh, I just thought the green stuff in there, I thought maybe they were jalapenos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so just the seasoning. Mm. Alright, I'm going to enjoy this and see you all later. She just let me know the lady that makes the greens has been here since they opened. I think she said like 32 years. She's like she can barely move it. She makes those greens really good. So, same woman. They are seasoned, seasoned, seasoned.
complete that big thing in there. All right, I'm at Ed's Seafood Shed. Southern Seafood with Soul. They also do breakfast on Saturday and Sunday if you're here in the morning. Um, but this is just this is a seafood fam ah, family seafood restaurant in the middle of the causeway. So let's go on in and see what we can get. I bet you we can get some seafood in here. But we shall see very soon. <clears throat> oh my goodness. One last thought as I drive away from Ed's seafood shed. The when I left well while I was there everyone was wearing their masks, but when I left there were three people at the reception desk without masks, three employees. Of course, there's a lot of customers coming in without masks. That's just the way they do it in Alabama. They don't really um, follow the rules here. Just be aware that you need to use extra caution and stay away from the people not wearing their masks, um, which is a lot of people in Alabama. I did see more people in the city areas like Mobile wearing their masks, but still there was a lot of people not wearing masks. Even though there were signs everywhere on the doors, on entry, you must wear a mask. I mean, I even went to a couple stores. One, the manager wasn't wearing a mask. And another one, I don't know who it was, but they had employees there not wearing a mask as well. So, oh no, that was a manager too because she, she was telling everyone what they need to get done um, with her mask around her chin. So just be aware of that if you come to Alabama. Be safe. See you all later.